Jesus spoke of faith that could move mountains. Sometimes the mountain comes to us to test the faith we have. Three generations ago, a large community of citizens in the shadow of Nepal's Mount Everest moved to the nearby country of Bhutan. In 1990, the king of Bhutan ordered them out of his country. But when they returned to Nepal, the government refused to recognize them as citizens and forced them into refugee camps in far eastern Nepal. For 18 years, 120,000 people have lived in these camps under political and religious persecution, surviving in small 10 by 10 bamboo huts. 18 years and no end in sight. In March 2008, a fire swept through one of the camps, leaving 12,000 instantly homeless. People who had nothing now had less than nothing. The devastation commanded the attention of the United Nations, which stepped in and offered third country resettlement to the refugees. Ultimately, 60,000 will be placed in the U.S. over a two to three year period. About 1,000 are expected to arrive here in Nashville. Currently, 270 Nepali refugees have established residency in Nashville. What could be better than to be sent to the United States? Land of opportunity? Where they don't know anyone where no one speaks their language because they are the first citizens of their country to ever arrive here. They are not illegal immigrants, but cleared and documented refugees with survival instincts that must confront staggering needs and overwhelming odds. These Nepalis are not just refugees. They are pioneers, unfortunate and unplanned pioneers in a country that loves stories of pioneers. Their dreams echo back to our own ancestors who believed in the promise of America. They believe in the right to live, to work, to build their own home, and the right to be themselves. Like the mountain, they have moved, and their faith has been tested and strengthened.